I am so grateful to have this opportunity to share with you to get today. Again, my name is Patrice Washington, and I have been known in the personal finance space for over a decade now. And so some of you may remember me from a FinCon talk, a big idea, and the theme of that talk was chase purpose, not money. So I feel so in alignment with what Clark just shared because as someone who's been in media, I did four years on the Steve Harvey Morning Show answering people's personal finance questions every week in radio, nationally syndicated radio. I was a regular on several television shows answering people's personal finance questions. The Redefining Wealth podcast will be five years old. No, it was five years old yesterday. How did I, I was flying, I forgot. September 7th, five years and almost 15 million downloads and so, I love this space so much. I love what we have been able to do, but similar to what Clark said, I have an opportunity, I've had an opportunity over and over again to be affiliated with different television shows. People have approached me and pitched me to be a part of TV shows. And every single time I've been pitched, I've had to go back to my own governing decision. And the governing decision that I made years ago is that no matter where my brand takes me, I want people to trust me. I want people to know why I do what I do. And I don't know how you got into personal finance, but I have to tell you really quickly, I'm not here just because of textbook. I did just get a master's in behavioral finance and financial psychology, so your girl does have the knowledge. But I'm not here because of textbook. One thing that I know for sure is that I'm here because of my own testimony. Because three years before I attended the first FinCon that I went to in 2012, in 2009, I was in New Orleans on the bathroom floor, bawling and snotting and crying my eyes out. Because I had just gotten another eviction notice. Because I had just chased the power man down with my baby on my hip saying, if you don't turn the lights back on, my daughter's milk is gonna spoil. And I don't have the money to get more. Because I went from a seven-figure business that I created straight out of college to literally scraping up change in that recession. Y'all remember that? Do you remember 2007, 2008? She's so young. She like, no, I was, I was doing my thing. I was playing with Barbies. Some of us were out here dealing with real life, okay? So I had this seven-figure business and I was already passionate about financial education. That's how I grew the business. But the compassion and the heart that I have for people today is because I had to get on that bathroom floor. I had to get on that bathroom floor and ask myself over and over again, God, why me? I've been a good person. I've operated in integrity. I've tried to do the right things. So why am I here? Many of you know that the reason that you are so passionate about personal finance is because it came from some pain. Anybody? Does anybody do what they do because you had an experience that humbled you? Many of us come from places where we had to experience some painful things and we decided that we weren't gonna just stay on the bathroom floor, whatever your bathroom floor moment looked like. We were gonna take that experience and hopefully use it to be a blessing to other people. So I get that we wanna make money, but I wanna encourage you never to forget the purpose behind why you are here and why you started to do the thing that you've come here to do, right? So for me, I am here today representing as Jean, my girlfriend Jean, who I also met at FinCon like six years ago, um, representing a show that is near and dear to my heart. It's called Opportunity Knocks. And the reason that I bring up making a governing decision, which I'd suggest you all do for your business, I bring that up because I've been pitched to do shows over and over and over again. I've been asked to do shows where you sneak up on people while they're shopping. You know, this is a, oh, maybe I shouldn't tell what the concepts were. Some, some of you might be the host of that show coming out. So let me stop. I won't stop. I won't say it. But. I have been asked to do things that were just not in alignment with what I feel I was assigned to do on this earth in this season. But when I got the call for Opportunity Knox, I'm gonna tell you the truth. They asked me to get on a Zoom call and I was like, here we go again. I usually get on these Zoom calls and I space out. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like, okay, another, <sighs> another one of these, that's fine. Let me just take it. But I got on this call and when they broke down what the purpose of the show was, what I saw and who I saw was me in 2009 on that bathroom floor. I saw the resources that I would have needed 
that I didn't even know were available. When I was on that bathroom floor, when my friends and family didn't know what was going on with me, they thought I politely moved from Los Angeles. I fled because my home foreclosed, my cars were repossessed, and I was facing bankruptcy. And I didn't want the people who saw me like get that degree from USC and start this business. I didn't want them to see me like that. So I moved to New Orleans, Louisiana, Metairie to be specific. And it was all because I didn't know who to ask, where to go, how to get support, so I chose to suffer in silence. Do you realize the people who are consuming your content, many of them are at home watching your stuff on YouTube, on a phone, on their computer, and they are suffering in silence? They are Googling and researching and tuning in to the content that you publish because they literally don't know where to go or how to get support. It is wonderful that we create content, but many of us will not be there to hold people's hands. We're not gonna be there with them in the trenches. And ultimately, that's what a lot of people need. So when I got the call for Opportunity Knox and I got on the Zoom and I heard about the technology that was connecting people to nonprofit, for, to nonprofits and not-for-profits, CDFIs, Community Development Financial Institutions, in their neighborhoods, so that they could go somewhere and get support. Again, I saw myself March 9, 2009 on that bathroom floor and I said, this is what that Patrice would have needed. So I want to share with you a clip from Opportunity Knox so you can see what my version of Chase Purpose Not Money looks like. This is the show that I finally said yes to and I'm so honored that I get to share it with you guys. Every day, millions of Americans must make the choice between rent and food. I definitely live paycheck to paycheck. But what many Americans don't know is that there are methods available in their own backyard built to help them with these struggles. I didn't realize it was possible for us to do that outside of a VA loan. Opportunity Knox has matched three expert coaches with six struggling families to give a personalized financial experience that even you can benefit from. I've always told myself, gotta break the cycle, you gotta break the cycle. Through this journey, we will see that the American dream is possible with the right advice. Do it like a math problem, because we gotta figure it out. Our coaches will guide these families with resources within their community that will unlock the doors to financial freedom. You gotta stay focused on the goal. Will the obstacles they face prove to be too much for these six families? Change is hard. Yeah, change is hard. There's no way we can get ahead here. You know? I feel stuck. Or will the coaches help them open the door when opportunity knocks? So, um, I'm so excited about Opportunity Knox. I'm so excited that the viewers will have an opportunity to go and to the Opportunity Finder that is on the site that is, uh, and it's, it'll be on PBS, I didn't say that. So the show is on PBS, um, but we need your help. And I have to say, when Clark was talking about partnering with people who are trusted as well, my reputation and my integrity mean so much to me. That is like such a core value. It was a no-brainer for me to associate myself with PBS. No, it's not like the, the huge, sexy streaming platform that everybody goes to, but it's been trusted in our communities for so many years. If you're a parent, you've seen PBS kids. Don't play. You had it on all day. It was babysitting your kids. You know, you know who I'm, where are the parents? You remember Caillou. You remember all those things. Okay. Kai, somebody knew the song. Okay. So... Um, I am here today to literally just ask for your support. Again, many of you serve populations like I do, maybe a lot of single mothers, you serve parents, you just serve people who are dealing with real life, especially in a time like this, that need real resources and need to be connected to real people in their areas that can support them. So whether you are dealing with people who, are, who have never made a budget before, or you have folks, maybe you deal with folks that you think are way beyond this, Remember, your content may also be very aspirational. So people may be watching and tuning in because they hope to be able to take advantage of what you offer. Doesn't mean that they're there yet. Doesn't mean that they're there yet. And there might be resources in their community that will help them get there sooner, quicker, faster. But if they're tuning in to you, you they trust you. So you need to be the person that just says, hey, here is something that you may wanna look into. That's all I'm here to ask. So. 
Can I get a little FinCon support? Just a little? Somebody gonna tell their audience? I personally will be here for the next couple days. So for those of you who are doing live podcasts or you wanna grab me and do like 10 minutes, now don't grab me, grab me now. <laughs> be polite about how you grab me, cause I fight back. No, I'm kidding. Um, I'm, I'm here, I wanna be a resource. I really, really wanna spread this message for Opportunity Knocks Far and Wide. And I couldn't think of a better place to come and beg. I'm begging, I'm begging. Do you need me to, I'm begging. I couldn't think of a better place to come and just share this um, with the hopes that you guys will see the benefit in this. Because again, so many people in your audience, they're suffering in silence. And it's great that we can tell them what they need to do, but some folks need their hand held through the process. So please join me and help me in this fight and helping more Americans, uh, you know, open the door when opportunity knocks. Thank you guys so much. Awesome. Yes. Let's Thank give you, it Patrice. Up. Give it up for Patrice. Give it up for Patrice, everybody. Yes. Excellent. We've got a couple questions for Patrice Absolutely. before we let her go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we did such a great job explaining it to everybody, but just talk to a lot of people are your fans already. They're listening to a lot of your content. So how does this differ from the type of content that you put out there normally? So at Redefining Wealth, obviously I don't just talk about money. I do talk about all the parts of lives that impact what we do with our money. Um, but this is different because like I said, this is television meets technology. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we are watching things and we may be inspired and we feel that rah, 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 I should go do something, but we don't know what to go and do. Yeah. And so the fact that Opportunity Knox has this opportunity finder mm -hmm. on the website where people can literally go and say, I'm having a challenge with healthcare, utilities, my car note, my mortgage, any number of real financial challenges people are experiencing, they can put their zip code in and they can get connected to nonprofits and not-for-profit CDFIs in their backyard, right? So like when I was on the show, I was going along with the other opportunity coaches all over the country. We weren't just going and say, hey, you need to do this. We were connecting them with the resources in their community. So when I left, right? Michelle, who was here in Florida, or the family that I supported in Lake Charles, Louisiana, they still got to meet with their CDFI contacts. So one family saved like $800 on their monthly bills. I think that was Pelican State, or CDFI here? Hey, yes, <laughs> Pelican State in Louisiana, they helped that client save $800 a month. Mm -hmm. wow. Like, that, that is, is a, awesome. It's a massive amount of money. It is. Yeah, right? So we go home, you guys log off, you hit publish on the podcast and you move on with your life. But what happens with the people? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's, That's so difference. good to hear that it's gonna transform beyond the TV show yes. into the community. That's awesome. So what do you hope to accomplish once Opportunity Knox actually airs and comes after that? What do I hope to accomplish? What's success for you with yeah. us? Yeah, what does that look like? More people just getting help. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, I just want to help people. I mm -hmm. literally think about being on that bathroom floor. Mm -hmm. I think about what it would have looked like to know that someone could help me with my utility bill. Yeah. You know, I think about what it would have been like to know that there was support for rent assistance. Mm -hmm. Like, all of these things, I just, I didn't know what I didn't know. And success looks like more people knowing mm -hmm. that they can get support. Like, I'm so blessed to be here, but there's a long road between what you need to do and who you need to become and the mindset shifts that need to happen between being on that floor and then being here on this stage. And I just want more people to have an opportunity to get off the floor. There we go. I awesome. love that. Tell, love tell, that. tell all your friends one more time how they can help you make this become a reality. Bring us to success. Okay, so two ways you can help this become a reality. If you're a creator, if you have a blog, a podcast, a radio show, a YouTube channel, I look cute today. We could do a video, girl, whatever you want to do. <laughs> um, I am here to help you create content around this, and you can always reach out to our PR team, um, who is here as well. So if I'm not your flavor and Jean is, get you some Jean. She's available too. Um, or Lewis as well, who serves the Hispanic community primarily. So we're here as opportunity coaches to spread the word. Um, and then also, if you are a, a funder of some kind of sponsor, if you have um, 
a message that you want to get out there. The show on PBS has like these intros and outros. There are opportunities for you to sponsor those and they will stay with the show forever. They don't get swapped out. So if you're looking for a great way to invest some dollars in something that matters and you have an opportunity to sponsor um, an episode, we would love to talk to you as well. So those are two ways that you guys can support. That's I love fantastic. it. Thank That's you so awesome. much, Patrice. Thank we you. appreciate Give it. Thank you, everybody. 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 Thank you, everybody.